Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the clutch drum and sprocket assembly in your chainsaw, first make sure the engine has cooled and that the on-off switch is in the off position. Now use the provided wrench or a 13 millimeter socket to help loosen and unthread the nuts securing the clutch cover. Confirm that the chain brake is disengaged and remove the cover. Next, lift off the front chain guard, then remove the cutting chain and chain bar. Now unthread the knob securing the air filter cover and pull the cover off. Remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Use the provided wrench to help loosen the spark plug. Then unthread it. Confirm that the piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. Next, use a large flathead screwdriver and strike it with a hammer to rotate the clutch clockwise to unthread it from the crankshaft. You can now pull off the old clutch drum and sprocket assembly. Before you install the new clutch drum and sprocket assembly, confirm that the rear washer is in place on the crankshaft. Now align the new assembly on the crankshaft along with the inner drum washer. Rethread the clutch counterclockwise onto the crankshaft, then tighten. Remove the cord from the cylinder. Rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to strip the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot. Realign the air filter cover and rethread the knob to secure. Realign the chain bar on the mounting posts. Align the chain on the sprocket and on the chain bar. Make sure the teeth on the chain are facing towards the front end of the chain bar on the top and away from the front end on the bottom. Reposition the chain guard. To replace the clutch cover, the chain tensioner pin will need to be inserted into the hole in the chain bar. You will probably need to rotate the tension adjustment screw counterclockwise to properly align the tensioner pin. With the cover in place, hand tighten the nuts. Now lift the bar and rotate the adjustment screw clockwise until there is no slack in the chain. Fully tighten the nuts and confirm that the chain is taut. With the repair completed, turn the on-off switch to the on position and your chainsaw should be ready for use.